Hello, fellow aficionados. Dealing with narcissists is tough because they're manipulative, self-centered, and often toxic. Instead of confronting them head-on, there are smarter ways to handle them and reduce their influence. This guide offers 10 effective methods to disarm and counter narcissists. These techniques, based on psychology and practical advice, will give you the tools to protect yourself and others from their harmful behavior. Whether it's at home, work, or with friends, these approaches can help you regain control and bring back harmony. Let's explore ways to weaken narcissists' grip and make our surroundings healthier and happier. Number 1. Shattering the Narcissist's Ego One way to tackle narcissists' harmful behaviors is by not constantly praising and validating them. Instead of boosting their already overinflated ego, some people choose to challenge it directly. They give feedback and point out negative behaviors which can knock the narcissist off their pedestal. Picture a workplace where a narcissistic colleague always craves attention and admiration. Instead of feeding into this, someone might give honest feedback and suggest areas for improvement. This refusal to stroke the narcissist's ego can make a big difference. For example, if the narcissist brags about their latest project, a confident co-worker might say, you did okay, but there are things we could do better next time. This kind of feedback doesn't stroke the narcissist's ego, but encourages them to see themselves more realistically. By sticking to their values and staying confident, these people can hold their ground, even when faced with harsh criticism. Their independence acts as a strong counter to the narcissist's need for control and attention. They're not afraid of tough conversations and are ready to tackle issues head-on. This directness can break through the narcissist's facade, making them face their own flaws. This approach not only challenges the narcissist's power, but also creates a healthier team dynamic. When narcissists realize they can't manipulate everyone, it hits their ego hard. Eventually, this can lead to a fairer environment where everyone's contributions matter and no one's ego overshadows the team's success. In short, by refusing to play along with the narcissist's constant need for admiration and by giving honest, helpful feedback, people can effectively break down the narcissist's ego, leading to a more balanced and respectful environment. Number 2. Challenging the Narcissist's Certainty A solid way to knock a narcissist off their high horse is by questioning their decisions and judgments. Narcissists often think they're the smartest, and their opinions are always right. But when someone starts poking holes in their logic, it throws them off and makes them feel uneasy. They don't like having their confidence shaken or their authority challenged. Think of a meeting where a narcissistic boss insists their plan is flawless without listening to other ideas. By calmly asking stuff like, can you explain why you think this is the best way? Or what about trying something different? You force them to back up their decisions. This poking and prodding exposes any weaknesses or blind spots they might have missed. This questioning tactic is like shining a spotlight on the narcissist's flaws, making them face up to their biases. For example, if they're dead set on a tight project deadline asking, what problems might pop up with this timeline, makes them think harder and admit there could be issues. Usually, the narcissist gets all defensive and crabby because they don't like feeling like their authority is under fire. But that discomfort is necessary for them to grow. By making them rethink their beliefs and choices, people push narcissists to be more introspective and open-minded. In the end, by challenging the narcissist's certainty, folks can create a healthier, more teamwork-oriented vibe. This approach doesn't just chip away at the narcissist's power trip, it encourages a culture where everyone's ideas count, leading to better decisions and personal growth for everyone. Fellow aficionados, Please take a moment to subscribe to the Daily Stoic 2 Zero channel. You'll find valuable insights and practical wisdom for navigating life's challenges with resilience and clarity. Number 3. Recognize the vulnerabilities of narcissists. Dealing with narcissists is like solving a tricky puzzle. They put on a confident front, but underneath, they're full of insecurities and fears. Understanding these deeper issues is key to handling their manipulative ways. By seeing beyond their bravado and acknowledging their emotional needs, 
you can disarm their tactics and build a better relationship based on respect. Imagine this. Instead of getting sucked into a narcissist's constant craving for praise, you step back and see the bigger picture. You realize that behind their bragging, there's a fragile ego fueled by fears of failure or not being good enough. By digging into these root causes, you can approach them with empathy instead of confrontation. Picture a chat where a narcissist is boasting about their achievements, fishing for compliments. Instead of getting annoyed, you listen and then gently dig deeper. You might say, sounds like you've worked really hard for that. Was it tough getting there? This shows you acknowledge their effort while shifting the focus to a more genuine conversation. Empathy is key here. Instead of just reacting to their actions, you connect with the emotions driving those actions. You understand that their need to show off might come from a fear of failure or feeling inadequate. Let's say there's a narcissist at work who always takes credit for team wins. Instead of confronting them, you approach with curiosity and empathy. You might say, you seem really passionate about our project's success. Must be a lot of pressure to keep it up. This way, you acknowledge their efforts and give them space to reflect on their own insecurities. By consistently responding with empathy, you build trust. The narcissist sees you as someone who gets them, not a threat. This disarms them because you're not playing into their insecurities. Plus, by not letting their insecurities manipulate you, you establish respect and understanding. You show you won't play their games, but also won't attack their vulnerabilities. Instead, you give them a safe space to open up. For example, if a narcissist puts others down to feel better, gently challenge their behavior while acknowledging their fears. You might say, I noticed you were pretty critical. Is there something bothering you about the project? This way, you address their behavior while inviting them to share their concerns. This approach protects you from manipulation and helps the narcissist reflect on their actions. When they feel understood, they might start thinking about how their behavior affects others. This could lead to real personal growth. Changing a narcissist isn't easy, but by showing empathy, you can guide them towards positive change. Recognizing their vulnerabilities and approaching them with understanding can disarm their manipulation and lead to healthier interactions for everyone involved. Number 4. Counteracting the Passive Aggression of Narcissists Handling passive-aggressive behavior from narcissists can be really tough, but it's not impossible. Narcissists often use sneaky digs and disguised criticism to control others and boost their own ego. Luckily, there are ways to fight back against this behavior and take away their power. Picture this. At work, a co-worker keeps making snarky comments or giving you backhanded compliments to make you doubt yourself. Instead of ignoring it or feeling intimidated, the best move is to tackle it head-on. You might say something like, I heard what you said earlier, if there's a problem, let's talk about it openly. This not only calls out the behavior, but also sets a clear boundary that you won't put up with it. Standing up to passive-aggressive behavior means being assertive and confident. By directly addressing these tactics, you throw the narcissist off their game and make them face their actions. This hits their ego hard because they rely on these subtle tricks to control situations. When you don't play along, you take away their power. Setting firm boundaries is key. By clearly saying what behavior is off-limits and won't be tolerated, you create a shield against further manipulation. You might say, I'm not okay with how you're talking to me. Let's keep things respectful. This assertiveness not only protects you, but also shows the narcissist that their sneaky moves won't work. It's important to stay cool and collected during these confrontations. Narcissists thrive on stirring up drama and might try to get a rise out of you. By staying calm, you keep control and show that their attempts to mess with you won't succeed. This coolness weakens their tactics and reinforces your strength. Plus, Openly addressing passive-aggressive behavior sets a better tone for everyone. When others see that this behavior is called out and not tolerated, it sets a standard for how people should treat each other. This can inspire others to stand up against passive-aggressive behavior too, making the environment more supportive and respectful. For instance, in a meeting if a narcissistic co-worker makes a shady comment, calmly addressing it in front of everyone can be really effective. You might say, 
I heard what you said about my presentation. If you have feedback, let's talk about it directly. This not only shuts down the narcissist, but also shows the team that this kind of behavior won't fly and that you can stick up for yourself. To sum up, dealing with passive-aggressive narcissists means recognizing their tricks, confronting them directly, and setting clear boundaries. This takes away their power, asserts your authority, and creates a better atmosphere. Taking a stand against passive aggression takes guts, but it's a powerful way to make sure you're not controlled or manipulated by narcissists. Number 5. Eroding the Narcissist's Sense of Entitlement Narcissists often believe they're entitled to special treatment and perks, driving their manipulative behavior and constant need for praise. But some folks don't buy into this idea. They stick to their guns and firmly say that the narcissist isn't getting any special treatment. Think about a workplace where a narcissistic co-worker always wants the best projects or extra attention. Instead of giving in, someone might say, we all need to pitch in equally or everyone works hard and deserves recognition. By holding their ground, they make it clear that the narcissist's entitlement isn't justified. It can be tough, though. Narcissists might get mad or try to manipulate people into giving them what they want. But by staying calm and consistent, folks can push back against this behavior. For example, if a narcissist tries to take all the credit for a team project, someone might say, this was a team effort and everyone's work matters. Statements like this show that no one person is more important than the rest and entitlement doesn't fly in a team setting. Standing up to a narcissist's demands takes guts. It means sticking to your guns, even if they push back. But by doing this, people chip away at the narcissist's sense of entitlement and stop their manipulative games. This not only keeps things fair and balanced, but also makes the narcissist think twice about their behavior. In the end, by refusing to give in to a narcissist's demands for special treatment and promoting fairness for all, People create a better, more respectful environment. This approach builds mutual respect and ensures that no one person can overshadow the rest of the team. Number 6. Denying Narcissists the Attention They Crave Narcissists love being in the spotlight. It's like their energy drink, boosting their sense of importance. But when someone refuses to give them that attention, it throws them off big time. This tactic is a great way to handle narcissistic behavior. And here's why it works. Narcissists are always fishing for compliments and admiration. They want all eyes on them, soaking up the attention. When you don't play into that, it hits them where it hurts. They might get mad or frustrated, desperate to get back in the spotlight. But by ignoring them, you chip away at their power and control. Imagine you're dealing with a co-worker who always wants to hog the conversation and be the star of every meeting. Instead of getting into it or reacting to their showboating, you focus on your own work and chat with others. You don't give them the attention they are after. This refusal to stroke their ego can really throw them off. They might try harder to get a rise out of you. But if you stay calm and collected, you keep denying them what they want. This tactic isn't about playing games or being sneaky. It's about looking out for yourself and not getting sucked into the narcissist's drama. By not giving them the attention they're after, you're setting clear boundaries and showing you know your own worth. In the end, ignoring narcissists can help you take back control of your interactions and stand up for yourself. It's not always easy, especially when they get mad or try to push your buttons. But by sticking to your guns and not letting them manipulate you, you can shut down their attempts to take over. This approach builds up your confidence and independence helping you keep your head high and stay true to yourself when faced with narcissistic behavior. Number 7. Changing the Narcissist's Mindset When narcissists encounter people who don't support their harmful beliefs, they face a tough challenge to their toxic mindset. These folks, let's call them influencers, tackle the distorted thinking, negative views of themselves, and bad behaviors of narcissists head-on. Instead of going along with their harmful ideas, Influencers offer different perspectives, helpful feedback, and encouragement to think things through. Picture this. A narcissist always tries to get praise through big talk and manipulative tricks. 
Instead of going along with it, an influencer might gently point out how their actions affect others and suggest they look at things from a different angle. This can push the narcissist to think about their behavior and what it means. Changing someone's mindset isn't easy. It takes time, empathy, and sticking with it, even when things get tough. Influencers have to be ready for pushback and setbacks along the way, but by consistently challenging the toxic beliefs and actions of narcissists, they can help them move towards a better, healthier way of thinking. By encouraging narcissists to think about themselves, their actions, and others, influencers help them grow in a positive direction. It's a tough journey, but one that could lead to big changes. As influencers keep pushing for change, they plant the seeds for a brighter future where narcissists can break free from their bad habits and live better lives. Number 8. Dominating the Narcissist Known for their unwavering confidence and strength, people who refuse to back down from narcissists can make a big impact. When faced with attempts to control, they stand firm, not giving in. Imagine someone facing off against a narcissist who loves to control and manipulate. While others might give in, this person stays strong, not letting the narcissist take over. Their ability to stand up to the narcissist isn't just about showing power. It's about empowering those who are affected by the narcissist's tricks. By standing their ground, they give relief and protection to those hurt by the narcissist's actions. It's like they're a shield against the narcissist's control, offering hope and freedom to those caught in their games. It's like a hero facing off against a villain, inspiring others to fight back and take back control. It shows how courage and determination can beat any challenge. As the narcissist's mask starts to slip because of this resistance, those who felt powerless find strength and confidence again. In the end, by refusing to give in to the narcissist and showing their strength, these people not only protect themselves, but also make a way for a better future for everyone. It's a victory of resilience over manipulation, reminding us that real strength comes from standing tall against tyranny. Number 9. Ghosting Ghosting can be a powerful way to deal with and eventually cut ties with a narcissist. When faced with someone who's all about themselves, some folks, let's call them strong-willed, refuse to play their games. They simply walk away and don't look back. Ignoring calls, texts, and any other attempts to reach out, they block the narcissist from every angle, shutting them out completely. For these strong-willed folks, ghosting isn't just a move. It's a clear message that they won't put up with the narcissist's harmful ways. It's about taking control of their own lives and not getting caught in the narcissist's trap. Often, ghosting is the best choice when dealing with a narcissist. The truth is, narcissists are already messed up inside. They're full of feelings of being lesser, insecure, and unsure of themselves. Their flashy exterior is just a way to cope, trying hard to convince themselves and others that they're great. By refusing to engage with the narcissist, strong-willed individuals make it clear. They won't be part of the toxic cycle of manipulation and lies. They focus on their own well-being and mental health, surrounding themselves with positivity and honesty. Ghosting might seem tough, but it's often needed to break free from a narcissist's hold. It helps strong-willed folks set boundaries and keep themselves safe. And in the end, it shows that real strength is about knowing when to walk away from what's toxic and focus on making life better. Number 10. Staying grounded. Staying grounded is key when dealing with a narcissist. It's like anchoring yourself in a storm, making sure you don't get carried away by their fancy stories. Instead of being dazzled by their charm, it's important to keep a grip on reality. Narcissists are experts at making themselves seem superior and important. They love being the center of attention, bragging about their achievements. But under all that, there's a fragile ego that constantly needs praise. When you're dealing with a narcissist, it's easy to get caught up in their stories and charisma. But staying grounded means seeing past all that, realizing that their greatness is just a show. Picture a co-worker who's always boasting about their successes painting themselves as the hero of every story. Instead of falling for it, staying grounded means questioning what they say, looking for proof, and not just taking their word for it. Being grounded also means setting boundaries and not letting the narcissist control you. 
It's about trusting your gut, even when they try to make you doubt yourself. In simple terms, staying grounded is about keeping your feet on the ground, even when the narcissist tries to sweep you off them with their big talk. It's about protecting yourself from their tricks and keeping a clear head. By staying grounded, you shield yourself from the narcissist's manipulation and keep a hold on reality. It's a smart way to handle dealing with narcissists and make sure you come out of it with your sense of self intact. As we come to a close, dealing with narcissistic relationships can be tough, but there are ways to protect yourself and stand your ground. Setting clear boundaries, staying calm, reaching out for support, and taking care of yourself are all ways to lessen the impact of narcissistic behavior on your life. It also helps to learn about narcissism, question their stories, and show empathy to keep things in perspective and avoid their traps. Keep your well-being in mind, stay rooted in reality, and focus on your own goals rather than getting swept up in their drama. By sticking to these strategies with confidence and consistency, you can take back control from narcissists and steer your life in the direction you want. Until then, stay thoughtful, stay resilient, stay profound, stay stoic. Bye for now, aficionados.